In this problem, we're doing some pretty tricky work with angle addition and relationships between angles. Let's read this, and then I'm going to give you my version of, of how you should approach a problem like this. It says in the figure below, w, x, z, so w to x to z, so that's the whole thing, equals 106 degrees. The measure of angle 1 is 34 more than the measure of angle 2, and we want to find the measure of angle 2. So my first piece of advice is just to write what you know on the diagram. And the first thing we know is that this whole big angle is 106 degrees. So now we've got that in our diagram. And then, well, it says angle 1 is 34 more than angle uh, measure of angle 2, but I'm not sure exactly how to write that yet. And it, it says to find the measure of angle 2. With a situation like this, we're going to need to use a variable. And the variable should be the thing that you're trying to find. So I'm going to call the measure of angle 2 just x degrees. Now it's a little easier for me to come up with a way to write what the measure of angle 1 is. It says it's 34 degrees more than the measure of angle 2. So I could call this x plus 34 degrees. Now I can put this all together into an equation because I know that this angle plus this angle, angle 1 plus angle 2, has to equal 106 degrees. So I can write x plus 34, that's angle 1, plus angle 2, which is just x, equals 106. Now I can solve for x. And when I do, I'll get the measure of angle 2, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So first I need to combine the like terms. I have an x and an x, so that makes 2x's plus 34 equals 106. And let's see, we'll subtract 34 from both sides. And I think that leaves us with 72 over here and a 2x over here. And then we can divide by 2. And so x should equal uh, 36 degrees. So that is a little bit of work with um, angle addition uh, with relationships between angles.